What is up, guys? Welcome back for another live in the OU tier today. We're going to be laddering up for OLT once again. I've got a really cool team to show off for you guys. It's um, it's a Pachirizu team. I know you guys see that right there. That's right, that's Pachirizu. This team is actually really, really cool. Uh, it's Scarf, Landorus with Mega Metagross, uh, Calm Mind, Slowbro, AV, Torn, and uh, Defensive, uh, Infernape with Rocks. So basically, the way the team works is that Pachirizu pretty much checks every electric type in the tier. Um, because they're mostly special, uh, and because of Volt Absorb, it doesn't take any damage. I can switch in on Volt Switches and Thunderbolts. It doesn't take much from their uh, auxiliary moves, their alternative moves such as Shadow Ball from Raikou, uh, Flamethrower from uh, Mega Manectric, let's say. Uh, basically, it can take any one of those hits because it's a max spadef set, uh, and then it's able to get off Toxics, Super Fangs, uh, and like th this thing is absolutely destructive, <laughs> like the things that it does to some teams. So I'll just hop into a battle right away and I'll show you guys uh, how the team works. Uh, so my opponent has three Pokemon. Basically, uh, I don't know if I'm on the wrong alt here. No, I shouldn't be. LT, uh, Ladder Tour 2, A, Aster, J. Yeah, that's the wrong alt. All right, we'll be right back. Should have questioned myself when. Uh, when I didn't have to put in a password to log into my account, you know? Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's get a real battle here. Uh, this might take a while because uh, we're not extremely high on the ladder, but we're not low either. Uh, so as you can see, my opponent has a Rotom. Now, Rotom would normally be a huge nuisance to this team because it Volt Switches on pretty much everything, uh, gets off Burns on my offensive threats, Burns Slowbro, which Slowbro does not appreciate, uh, things like that. And you're going you're gonna to see how much Pachirizu comes into play here. So what we're going to do... Because we're going to lead with uh, our Landorus because it's Scarfed. Uh, should he lead with Keldeo? I have an answer to Keldeo in uh, Tornius. It doesn't take too much from an Icy Wind because we are AV. And if he locks himself into that, then I can just switch into Slowbro afterwards. And uh, his main response to Slowbro should be his Rotom. Uh, in which case we will uh, swap out into Pachirizu on whatever move it chooses to go for. Which will more than likely be a Will-O-Wisp to be honest. So... Let's see. Uh, Patrizu doesn't mind being burned, by the way, because it's only offensive move. Well, it has U-turn for momentum, but it has hardly any attack. Its main offensive move being um, U-turn. Uh, sorry, no, uh, Super Fang. It also has Nuzzle. Uh, you guys can see the set right there in front of you. Nuzzle, U-turn, Toxic, and Super Fang. So it's a really cool set. Uh, right here, I'm just going to U-turn out. Uh, I'm going to go directly into my slow bro on this thing. Basically, uh, I just want to... Uh, bait in the Rotom right now, and by doing that, uh, Pachirizu, Pachirizu is normally faster than most Rotoms, and will be able to get off a Toxic on it, which is extremely clutch. So, let's actually just do that, we'll double directly into Pachirizu, as he chooses to go into Superior, okay, interesting play. Um, I'm actually just going to U-turn out on this thing, uh, because we get off a little bit of damage, and then we put it in range of Hurricane, so... Uh, if he wants to go for a Leaf Storm, that's fine. As you can see, that only does 41%, which is not much at all. I mean, it's not li a little bit of damage, but it's not a lot either. So now we can go into our uh, Tornadus right here. We can go straight for the Hurricane. If he wants to bring in his Rotom on this turn, that's perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. As you can see, he finally goes into Rotom. Gonna get off a uh, Hurricane right here. A little bit of crit right there. That's nice. <laughs> go for a U-turn. And basically, Pachirizu is gonna put an end to anything that this thing wants to do. Should he go for a Hydro Pump, that's honestly his best play, knowing that I have a Pachirizu. Um, but he can't Volt Switch out, basically. So he can't gain momentum on me, which is the most important thing. We're going to go into Pachirizu right here, and he goes for the Hydro Pump, so very good play on his part. I am just going to uh, throw off a Toxic to keep this thing low, uh, or to weaken this thing, rather. And uh, he actually chooses to go out into Dawn Fan, which is perfectly fine by me as well. I will keep my Pachirizu. Again, I should be faster than this Dawn Fan, and we will U-turn out on it. And uh, probably go into... back into Slowbro, honestly. He goes for the Ice Shard, so he's actually able to uh, make, turn our Pachirizu into a Sack. That's perfectly fine, though, because uh, now I can go in back into Slowbro. And now with his Superior Weakened, with his uh, Slowbro at 69, uh, I can pretty much throw out a Scald at this point. With no form of Hazard Removal, the team does suffer a little bit. Uh, but we'll work around it, as you guys will see later on. Uh, Metagross is going to come into play, so is Tornadus, uh, because of his Curium, because of his Keldeo, basically his main offensive threats, uh, I'm going to be able to weaken them with those two specifically. Uh, also, if I'm able to get uh, this Dawn Fan extremely weakened, as well as Superior and Rotom Wash, I can spam uh, Earthquake with Landorus later on in the game, so that works too. He goes into Rotom, uh, potentially burn, nope, okay, that's fine. 
Uh, he can Volt Switch here. So what I'm actually going to do is throw off another Scald. He's just going to Wisp. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind. I prefer that over a Volt Switch any day. We do not get the burn once again. And now we are going to switch out into our Pachirizu. And uh, basically sack it off right here. He played very well around it. Uh, not everybody does, but he did. And um, now I think I have to go into Metagross and Thunder Punch this thing, honestly. Uh, I think that's my best play. Potentially Hammer Arm as well is not bad. Yeah, let's go for the Hammer Arm. Try to get a crit, <laughs> I guess. Uh, he could be... I don't know. What could he predict? Nothing, really. Nothing I even takes him out, so... Uh, gonna get the minus uh, speed right there. He is gonna Will-O-Wisp us. Meteor Mash is still gonna be able to do a lot to cure him black, so I'm not too worried. Uh, we should also still be faster than this thing, so I am just gonna throw out another Hammer Arm as he goes into Dawn Fan. We actually missed that one, so we don't lo lower our speed again. Uh, but it's not the best situation. Um, I am just going to go, I think, hard into Landorus on this turn, honestly. Because I don't see my sharding of anything. He's Earthquaking right here. And uh, then we'll pull another switch. He actually does Ice Shard. Wow, so good play. All right. Um, and now I have to go into Infernape on this turn. Basically, I just want to get up rocks. He can Earthquake me, but being at minus one and the fact that we're defensive uh, Infernape should allow us to live. So that's, uh, that's what I'm banking off of. He goes for the Ice Shard, does hardly anything. Uh, I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks right here. If he wants to go for Earthquake, that's fine. Uh, we should be able to take this Earthquake. He actually chooses to switch into his Rotom as I go for Stealth Rocks. And I'm not sure if this clo Close Combat takes him out because we're not attack invested. It should, though, in theory. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Awesome. So we're able to get rid of the Rotom. That's a huge hindrance. Gone. And um, I don't know exactly what he'd go into here. Maybe his Keldeo? Without his Rotom around, though, I'm pretty much free to throw off Scalds and, uh, and Psy Shocks at this point with Slowbro, so that's really good. And uh, we'll see what he wants to do here. Uh, if he goes Serp, I probably go directly into Metagross and sack it off because I don't want him glaring my Tornadus. He goes into Keldia, though, and I really want to predict this thing to go for a uh, for an Icy Wind right here. Um, I think my best play overall is just to go into Slowbro and gauge what he's going to do. Let's see. He throws off a Skull, that's fine. That looks like Scarf damage, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, I can just go for the uh, Skull right here if I choose to. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. If he wants to Skull me again, that's fine. He goes into Superior, though. Cool. Uh, going to be able to get off a Skull on this thing. Not a lot of damage, but uh, was he Leftovers? I can't remember. I don't think he was. Yeah, no, he wasn't. Uh, did he reveal Life Orb? No, not that either. Hmm, okay. Uh, I'm going to go into uh, Metagross on this turn. Like I said, I don't want my Tornadus getting glared as he throws off a Giga Drain. Awesome. Okay, so we'll be able to live any of the next hits he wants to go for. And I'm actually just going to throw out a, uh, a Meteor Mash right here. If he wants to go for a Leaf Storm, uh, he actually has Hidden Power Fire. He fails to knock us out, which is not great because we miss Meteor Mash anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to go into Tornadus. I really, really wish I had uh, Heat Wave sometimes on this Tornadus, but uh, just this coverage is pretty good. I might swap out uh, Hidden Power Ice for... Um, for Heat Wave at some point. Deals with Ferrothorn pretty well and stuff like that. Chooses to go into his Dawn Fan. That's fine as long as we hit, which we don't, of course. And uh, now he's going to get off a free Ice Shard at this point, and there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm just going to, uh, I think, fire off another Hurricane, honestly. He's going to go for the Ice Shard. It's going to do 28%. We land this Hurricane, luckily, and we are able to take out his Dawn Fan. Uh, now he gets a free switch into, I think his Metagross would come out here. Uh, because I can't really touch it outside of Heat Wave, which I might not have. He's only seen, what, Hurricane and U-Turn? I might have it, though. He's got to be careful with this. Um, also, his Metagross could have Pursuit just like ours. I think we can still win this match. Uh, depends on what his Scarfer is. And I think we evaluated that to be Keldeo. So I can definitely still win this, because he let his two biggest defensive walls go down. Uh, pretty much anything that could deal with my Tornadus is now gone. And uh, just got to play around that Metagross, man. Uh, I can't really touch Infernape, though. Usually. I mean, it could carry Earthquake. It's very possible, but it, he has a Dawn Fan, so um, he deals with Heatran relatively well uh, between that and Keldeo, so he chooses to go into his Kiram. Uh, I'm assuming a Fusion Bolt is coming my way, um, and I'm also predicting this thing to be Scarfed. I cannot lose my Tornadus, um, and I cannot really lose my... You know what I can lose? My Lando. Let's go into it. <laughs> I'm just going to sack off my Lando if he chooses to go for an Ice Beam, but he should go for Fusion Bolt. He does. Okay, cool. And that pretty much tells me that he's Scarfed, I believe. Um, so what I'm going to do here is actually go for... Uh, I think I want to get rid of this thing's Scarf, honestly. 
How much is his superior at? 61? Does it take two quakes? I don't think so. But it probably doesn't take two knocks either. Yeah, let's go for knockoff. As my opponent switches out into Keldeo, that's absolutely fine. We're able to get rid of this thing's scarf, which is great. Uh, as you guys will see, yep, it was choice scarfed. And I think he's double scarfers in Kyurem and uh, Keldeo. So on this thing, I have pretty much have to go into Tornadus. I need to keep my Landorus alive, specifically for um, his Metagross and his uh, his thing. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, his uh, Kyurem. But here, I'm just going to really hope that this Hurricane connects. And if it doesn't, then uh, too bad. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, I definitely need to keep this alive. I could also, I could alternatively U-turn here, uh, predicting his Metagross to come out, but I don't really want to make a bold play like that. He does go into Metagross. Uh, hopefully we can confuse this. That would be awesome. As we do not, that's okay. I'm assuming a Bullet Punch is coming my way. And like I said before, I need Tornadus alive, specifically for the Keldeo, or else I just lose to it. How much is it at though? 68. Okay, so I think it might go down to an Earthquake at this point. Uh, from a max attack Landris, potentially. Um, let's go into Slowbro, actually. I don't expect him to Pursuit here. If he does, that's a great play. He's probably just going to Mega Evolve. Yep. And uh, let's see what he has. He goes for the Zen Headbutt. It's not doing too much. His Metagross is all messed up on the screen over here. Uh, let's, uh, that's not fixing itself. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm actually just going to... I really want to double back into Tornadus, but it's not a play I can make, actually. Uh, I need to throw off a Scald here. I don't have a choice. His Superior comes in. That's absolutely fine. Just going to throw out a Scald and, uh, once again, not get a burn. So, very unfortunate. We could go Infernape in theory. Uh, not really something I want to do here, though. This Slowbro is so good, though. Do I want to keep Slowbro or do I want to keep Tornadus? That is the question. I mean, we can take a Leaf Storm, I think, even after Rocks and then just threaten this thing out once again. Thing is, do we live rocks afterwards? <laughs> uh, yeah, we always do because we get 30% back, so. Uh, I hate to weaken my torn like this, but I gotta do it. I just gotta go into it. I think we take this. We do, indeed. Uh, he goes up to times two. And I have to... Actually, U-turn kills from here, doesn't it? It should. Hold on. Tornadus. Tornadus. What do you do here? Uh, assault Vest Pivot. Do you have U-turn? Yes, against Superior. Superior all-out attacker. U-turn does 36 min. Ah, uh, it's a roll. <laughs> uh, and how much does HP Ice do? If we go for Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice. Does 38 min. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the U-turn, though. He's actually going to switch out into his Metagross. That's amazing. That's actually really good, because now we get to go out into our Landorus here. And we just get to fire off an Earthquake and really hope he's not Bullet Punch, basically, at this point. Um, we kept our Slowbro alive as well, which is good. Uh, we go for the Earthquake. We are able to knock out the Metagross. Let's see if we can clutch out this game, guys. I don't know. I don't know if we can. Uh, his Serp should be in range of an Earthquake from a Landorus. Landorus T. OU Choice Scarf. Uh, earthquake does 31 to 37. So after Rocks, yes, indeed it is. We will be able to eliminate it right here. Goodbye, Superior. I need to calc it on Keldeo now. I think we're going to be able to win this game after all that. Uh, Keldeo, Earthquake does 59 to 70. Uh, let's see what he chooses to go into, though, here. Uh, I think I think his Kirim is choiced in some way. I mean, if he knocks us out right here, it's not the end of the world because he, he needs to go for an Ice-type move to knock us out. And then I can go into Slowbro and just spam Psyshock at that point uh but then what happens hmm let's go for the eq he is scarfed okay good to know so now we go into Slowbro, and we go for a slack off right here and should he switch out that's perfectly fine we get to call mind up with our slow bro i think that's the play uh just start call minding up yeah i think that's my play for sure and uh, he goes for the Hydro Pump. That's going to do 30%. quite a bit. Go for the Calm Mind. Going to go for the Slack Off right here. Uh, and the thing is, even if Slowbro is low enough to the point where it doesn't take a Fusion Bolt from this thing, uh, Infernape definitely can. And I'll show you guys right now. Kirim Black. Mixed Wall versus Infernape. The uh, Physically Defensive set. 
Uh, Fusion Bolt does 50 to 50, uh, 59. So absolutely nothing. Uh, I definitely think that our Slowbro can take this hit. Slowbro from a Scarfed Kirim. Uh, that's a Life Orb variant, actually, that I'm calcing with, by the way. Uh, OU Defensive, not Mega Slowbro, though. Uh, Fusion Bolt does 52 to 61. That's with a Life Orb. If we take all that away and we add to its attack, let's make it 252. Sorry about that. I think I hit my mic. Uh, Adamant, uh, it's still only doing 60% max. We go for a Psy Shock right here. He goes for the Fusion Bolt, does not get the crit, does 46%, so absolutely nothing. And after the Leftovers and the Burn, he can only knock us out with a crit from Keldeo, and we would have to miss yet another Hurricane. So, um, that would be like the worst series of events ever. <laughs> um, alternatively, I could just switch into Infernape and like not play around with that. But I'm at plus one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Psy Shock. And uh, he does not manage to knock us out, and that is going to be GG. Awesome, alright, so we are able to pick up that first game. Despite him playing really well around Pachirizu, so... Uh, very experienced player, as we can see right there. Uh, my opponent has a very annoying looking team. He has, like, Ice Spam <laughs> with uh, Frostlass and Weavile. That's kind of annoying to this team. Actually, Infernape can handle it pretty well. Um, I'm just going to lead with uh, Tornadus, because it beats the... Uh, well, it doesn't beat the Frostlass, but I get to U-turn on it, so... Uh, that's exactly what we're going to do right here. And let's see what he wants to do. He's probably just going to set up a spike, honestly. Hopefully he's not Scarfed Ice Beam. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad because we are AV. Uh, so he takes that relatively well. Um, let's see here. Do I go into Metagross and Pursuit him? I'm not sure what I want to do here. I think I'm going to go into Landorus. As, as dumb of a play as that seems, I don't think he's going to Ice Beam. Uh, as he goes for hail. Okay, awesome. Uh, can Landorus knock this thing out with a knockoff? Is my question. Landorus T. Oh, you defensive. Nope, wrong one. Landorus T, Choice Scarf versus, say, a common Frost last spike lead. Uh, knockoff does 58 to 70. Stone Edge is a kill, though. We can risk that <laughs> if we really want to. Um, ah. I don't want to play around with this. Kind of just want to go for a U-turn and switch out into like Infernape and take the hit because we are slack off, right? So I get up rocks after and stuff. That's cool. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to go for the Stone Edge. All right, we're able to knock out the Frost last. Awesome. <laughs> that was really risky, by the way, guys. I wouldn't recommend that play because if I lost my Lando right there, I pretty much had like no response to his Dragonite, to his Starmie. Like, it, it got really hard from that point on. He chooses to go into his Weavile. This is perfectly fine. I can just go into Infernape here. Take whatever hit he wants to go for. He goes for the knockoff. That actually did quite a bit. What is he? Is he banded? I think he's banded. Hold on. Weavile. All out attacker versus Infernape. Sorry, I'm calcing so much. I just, I don't know the rules on these things. Physically defensive. Yeah, knockoff should never be doing that much. That is definitely banded. And uh, I think I'm going to set up my rocks here. Actually, I might want to pull a double into Torn. No, I'm going to go for rocks. He goes into his Tangrowth, actually, which is really cool. As uh, now I'm going to be able to Wisp this thing. And uh, if we get this Wisp op off, I don't believe he can take us out with an Earthquake. I don't even think it's going to put us in Hail range, but his Hail is ending anyway, unless he was like Ice Rock or whatever you call it. Um, the Hail does end indeed. And we are able to get off a... Uh, I could switch into Tornadus as well. No, I'm going to slack off. I want to keep this thing healthy for Weavile. This is my only Weavile answer on the entire team. So goes for a Giga Drain. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to slack off again. I don't care if he switches out into Starmie. That's fine. I'm going to go for the slack off. He goes for the Toxic. So good play. Uh, we're going to keep this thing weakened. But now I can go into my uh, Tornadus here. I wonder what he's going to do on this turn. He goes for a Giga Drain. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now we're able to Hurricane and hit something very hard. Uh, we have the chance of confusing Clef, so that's always good. Uh, we actually miss a Cane, so very unfortunate. He goes for Leech Seed and also misses, so that's cool. And uh, I think I'm just going to hit up Hurricane again, like honestly. And we miss again, <laughs> and he hits a Toxic, all right. I'm going to go for U-Turn at this point because I'm really getting frustrated. Um, all right, he goes for Protect, that's fine. Uh, we are going to U-turn again. I'm not uh, I'm not messing around with this. I need to keep this thing healthy as well. So he goes into Clef. I'm going to U-turn again. So great. Uh, actually, 
show me your Metagross switch-ins, man. This is great. I think uh, I think Mash takes him out um, from full. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong about that. Uh, his Tangrowth is also burned and it's coming in on rocks, so it's not going to appreciate this. Uh, plus, I have Pursuit if it wants to play around with like switching out shenanigans. Uh, he's actually going to go into Starmie. That's perfectly fine. We get to gauge what kind of Starmie this is here. Uh, we do hit. It does 50%, and he does not gain back leftovers. So this leads me to believe that this is an offensive Starmie, in which case I can switch out into my Tornadus on his Rapid Spin, and we can just go for a U-turn as he is Life Orb. If he switches out, he gives us back another switch into our Metagross right here. This is pretty much a dominant game. We're already at 20 minutes and we're only halfway through the second battle, so... Uh, Mr. Pwncake. I feel like I know this guy. Go for the U-turn. 17%. He is Rocky Helmet. Confirming what I thought. Uh, and now... Now I think we're going to... Uh, hit up Landorus. And basically just... Uh, knock this thing's item off. Honestly, I want to get rid of its Rocky Helmet. Uh, and it goes away, and he gets off a Leech Seed, I believe. Nope, he goes for a Giga Drain. Okay, so good play. And uh, I really feel like just knocking again, honestly. Um, because I could go into Torn, but that doesn't give me anything. Yeah, I'm just going to knock again. Uh, this is fine at this point. He goes for the Seeds, so he is going to be able to recover a little bit of health. But the next knock will be able to take him out, and if he switches out, he loses an item on something else. So that's great. We're able to keep our Landorus as well and our Scarf on it. So uh, he can't go into Starmie. That's what that means. Uh, if he goes into Weavile, I might just sack off my Landorus to go back into Infernape at this point. Uh, he actually does go into Weavile. Infernape, um, I know it's going to take this well, but at the same time... Yeah, I just want to knock this thing off, get rid of its Choice Band. Uh, now it's not hitting me for any damage on my, uh, on my Infernape. And we can get back up rocks. Uh, and basically, every time he spins, he's uh, losing life orbs. So uh, I also might just uh, continuously spam stealth rocks here. Then again, I still need this for Weavile. I mean, it's not life orb, so it doesn't take on Slowbro too, too well. Let's see. Um, no, I think Torn is my play every time. That's fine. Uh, he goes for recover. Okay. Uh, didn't expect him to have recover, but that's alright. I'm just gonna go for a cane here, uh, because we will be able to hit pretty much anything. If he wants to swap out, he's losing health on something. We actually get a crit cane, so after all those misses, uh, we get a little bit of justice and crit the hurricane. Now rocks are here to stay. We just need to deal with the cleft, but of course we have a Metagross in the back, which can do that. He goes into Weavile, that's perfectly fine. Again, I'm just gonna go into my immediate response to this in Infernape. As he goes to the Icicle Crash, as you can see, that does near to nothing. And I am just going to actually uh, probably swap out into Pajarizu at this point. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, if he wants to Icicle Crash me again, that's fine. He goes for a low kick, actually. All right, that is not able to knock us out. And without a Life Orb boost, his knockoff won't take us out either. So I'm actually just going to go for the Nuzzle right here. Goes for the knockoff, that's fine. We're able to get off a Nuzzle. Paralyze this thing, make it slower than our Metagross, which is amazing. And uh, Tornadus can pretty much uh, clean up Dragonite, I believe, uh, as well as Slowbro can take it on. Uh, I'm just going to go for the U-turn right here. He goes for the Ice Shard, knocks us out with a crit. That's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go into... I think I go into Slowbro here and just start setting up. Yeah, we're going to do that again. Let's go for it. <laughs> Let's go for the... Uh, we're faster than this thing as well, I believe. Uh, yeah, we are. I'm going to go for Calm Mind. He goes for the knockoff. Okay, so we're not faster for some reason. And uh, does he take me out with another one? 61 without the item. He's doing about 40. Yeah, he could potentially take us out. I'm going to switch out into Infernape here as he goes for another knockoff. That's fine. And uh, I'm just going to hit this up with a uh, Slack Off right here. He goes for the Ice Shard. That's not going to be able to knock us out. And uh, we're going to keep going for Slack Off. Uh, we are toxic, so we got to be careful with this. And uh, he's just going to attack us this turn. He actually gets fully parried. That sucks. Uh, I'm going to go out into... Why is he faster than us, though? That's what I don't understand. Hold on. Should he be faster than us? No, because that be... should be 384. That should be right past his speed. Hmm. That's weird. Um... All right, well, I'm going for the close combat at this point. Goes for the Ice Shard. That's fine. Uh, his Clef, if we see it take rock damage, I'm Will-O-Wisping immediately. Uh, and I'm assuming his Dragonite is going to come out at this point, but I mean, I just Wisp, right? And hope this thing isn't Lum, <laughs> basically. That's my only play. Go for Wisp, and he is Lum, and he goes for the DD. He basically has to attack me right here, though. 
So uh, Slowbro can come in then and uh, slack off a couple of times. Goes through the E-Speed, that's fine. I'm going to go into Slowbro. I'm going to slack off. Uh, I think I Scald on this turn, actually. Yeah, because if he locks himself in Outrage anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, just going to Scald here, and we are going to not be able to burn this Dragonite. Uh, I'm just going to keep going for Scald, as he actually chooses to go for Outrage on this turn, which is amazing, because now I get to go into Metagross and uh, fire off a Meteor Mash. Hopefully we connect this. If we do, we win. Uh, he goes for the Outrage, it only does 58%. He gets confused on that turn. We actually miss the Meteor Mash, so that is wonderful. And now we need to play off of a full Confusion. Oh, that sucks. Um, and I can't switch out either because then I'm like burning his Confusion turns. I gotta go for a Mash. He gets fully confused. Nope. Nope. Not that turn. Gotta go into Torn. Gotta go for a uh, Hidden Power Ice right here. And uh, that really sucked. That really sucked, man. Sucks to lose that way, missing a 90% accurate move, but it happens, that's Pokemon. Um, I mean, I could have gone into Torn as well, who knows. Uh, I probably should have slacked off on the uh, on the Dragonite, but I don't think it made a difference, honestly. I think it was taking us out, so here we see a Heatran, and now Heatran is pretty much like prime bait to come in on uh, Pachirizu, and we get off like a huge Super Fang on that thing, so that's always nice. Um, I see the... Um, like, realistically, there's nothing he can really lead with that immediately threatens Pachirizu other than maybe Heracross. So I'm going to lead with it. And uh, he leads with Thunderous, so that's absolutely perfect. We are able to get off a huge Super Fang on something. Something is taking half, half its health right here. Um, and if it's Heatran, that's that's great. I get to go out into Infernape, set up rocks, knock it out with a close combat on the following turn. That's always good. I wish I had U-Turn on Infernape sometimes, but... Like a real U-turn, Volt Switch core across like four Pokemon, but it's all right. Gonna try to cap this out at about 32 minutes. Hopefully, we'll be able to get there very soon. Uh, he should know that he can't hit me, so let's see what he wants to do here. Hopefully, he switches out into like Metagross, something that doesn't have any recovery, like Superior. That'd be great. Um, <laughs> either way, I'm getting off a of Super Fang on something. Uh, Super Fang has a 90% uh, accurate. Yeah, it's a 90% accurate move, so it does miss sometimes, uh, but like just hitting it and getting off half health on anything, it's like there is no resist unless you have a ghost. So that's that's absolutely amazing. Uh, turn one, this thing is very, very strong. Uh, his Focus Blast, I don't think too, it KOs me either. He does go into Heatran, as of course we miss Super Fang. And um, I'm going to... I'm going to Nuzzle right here. I have no reason not to. Uh, just going to paralyze this thing as he goes for a paralysis, okay? We see leftovers, so that's good to know. Uh, I'm going to go into Infernape right here. I'm going to get up my rocks. As he goes for a Magma Storm, trapping me in, that's actually fine. Uh, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks if he wants to go for the Earth Power. He has a chance of getting Parrot as well, so that's okay. He goes for Protect, awesome, as we are able to get up our Stealth Rocks right there. And I'm going to go for Close Combat and knock this thing really low. Uh, missing that Super Fang kind of sucked, but uh, this is an okay position. If I can weaken Heatran, that opens the door. He actually chooses to go into Latias on this turn, breaking me out of the Magma Storm as well, so that's really cool. Get off a little bit of uh, recovery right there, and I can pretty much safely go into Tornadus on this thing. Uh, now with his paralyzed Heatran, like, that thing is not a threat anymore. And uh, it's, looking, it's looking pretty good for Landorus, actually. Looking at this, he goes for a Draco Meteor that's not going to be able to do even half. Uh, because of our Assault Vest, and we will be able to get off a U-turn right here as my opponent chooses to go into Thunderous. Great. Uh, yet another turn that I can just go back into Pachirizu and just go for another Super Fang and knock something down to half its health. If it's Latias, amazing. I will Toxic in on the following turn. Uh, he does go into Heatran to take half its health, uh, and we are able to knock that thing really low. And now what I'm going to do is uh, go into Tornadus because we have the superpower. And uh, if he goes for an Earth Power right here, he won't be able to hit us either, which is really cool. So, Tornadus comes in, he goes for the Stealth Rocks, awesome. Uh, I'm just going to go for the, uh, the Super Power right here. Uh, he goes for Protect, alright. Uh, that's not going to keep me from going for Super Power, I really have no reason not to, uh, if I'm just being honest. And, uh, like, his, his Thunderous can never fire off an Electric move because of Pachirizu, so... That's, uh, that's the strength of the team, is having, like, this really cool Volt Absorber. He goes into Latias to take the Super Power. Obviously, he's going to be able to take it. I don't know if he can take an HP Ice, though. I want to calc this. Uh, Tornadus. It's going to be close. I know that much. 
Uh, Assault Vest with Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice against Latias. Where is it? Um, let's say it's OU Offensive Support, which it seems to be. Hidden Power Ice is only doing 27 to 32, so it's not enough. U-Turn is only doing 35 to 41, and at minus one, it's not doing anywhere near enough once again. Uh, he pretty much will be able to get off a defog right here, unless I hit a hurricane, which I'm going to try to do. As he's faster than us, so he was scarfed, actually. Uh, we missed the uh, the hurricane right there, so that's uh, pretty much Pokemon. And um, I think I'm just going to go for the U-Turn, honestly, because he pretty much has to switch out at this point. Yeah, exactly. Goes into Heatran. Um, this is pretty much a free switch into Metagross for me if I want to risk the Hammer Arm, which is another move that can miss. Uh, I can also go into Nape here. I think Nape's my best play for sure. Uh, just going to throw out a close combat. At this point, I think Latias goes down after the rocks from the uh, damage we did earlier. Looking at it, it took 26%, so uh, he's going to go for Protect. That's fine. Once again, I can just throw out another one. I guess he doesn't know that I have um, Slack Off. I guess he hasn't predicted that I'm a uh, defensive set yet. That's fine, though. His Latias is his only potential defogger, and if we get rid of that thing, that means that Heatran always comes in on rocks, so does uh, Heracross, so that's awesome. Like, I'll take that any day. He lets his Heatran go down, which is amazing as well. Uh, we get that thing out of the way, something that could trap, like, my entire team. Uh, I need to get in my Tornadus a couple of times uh, to be able to heal it up and make sure that it can take on uh, the Heracross. Uh, he goes into Latias, and I'm assuming a Psy Shock is coming my way. Knowing that this thing is Scarfed and not Life Orb, um, I'm just going to go into Slowbro here, actually. I'm going to keep this thing alive uh, as he goes for a Draco Meteor. As you can see, that is uh, that is a two-hit KO, um, or nearly, uh, actually. I'm going to swap out into Metagross now. I'm going to get back a little bit of health here and take a little bit of damage on my Metagross, but that's okay. As long as he doesn't crit me, we're good to go. And now we can go for the Pursuit and knock this thing out. And that's pretty much what I wanted to do. There we go. Awesome. Latias is gone. And uh, again, if he goes into Pachirizu, uh, if he goes into uh, Thunderous, excuse me, I can just go into Pachirizu. Uh, his other two Pokemon are not faster than me at the uh, at the moment, except for Serp, which of course doesn't do anything to me outside of HP Fire. So that's perfectly fine. Does go into Thunderous. Again, he cannot hit me with anything but an electric move, really. Uh, so I'm going to go into Pachirizu. If he goes for a Focus Blast, then good play. Uh, he does go for Thunder Wave, giving me back the Volt Absorb, and now we are going to throw out a Toxic right here. As he goes for a Super Power, okay, so he reveals a physical move, very nice. And, um, yeah, so I think this is, uh, it's pretty much geared to win right here. Alright, so, if he's going for Super Power right here, he could go for another, uh, another, phys uh, another, electric move right here predicting me to switch out into Slowbro. that would be a cool play uh do i need Slowbro for anything though not really we can sack it off sorry about that guys uh i'm sure you heard it in my voice but uh, somebody was coming to my room so i had to uh, stop there for a second but um basically what happened was he went for a uh, hidden power ice so that ended up working out for us uh at this point what i can do is just go into uh landorus uh keep my Slowbro alive uh, he did go down to Poison plus Life Orb, by the way, that's uh, that's why he dropped. Uh, and he will go for Pin Missile right here, which is, of course, resisted. And uh, basically, it comes down to, uh, can I, uh, well, one, can I hit this thing hard enough with a Stone Edge? He's going to Rock Blast me on the following turn, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Tornadus is quite uh, healthy at this point, actually. It's at 77%, so this is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Edge right here. Uh, should he switch out, that's fine. Uh, I still have a response to his um, to his Metagross in Slowbro, as long as he's not carrying Thunder Punch, of course. Uh, and Slowbro should be coming back in at 70%, uh, if I'm not mistaken, because we switched it out at about 30. So, let's see uh, what he wants to do with his Heracross. If he lets it take this edge, that's pretty cool. And... Um, I mean, we can sack off Pachirizu at any time at this point. It put in so much work already. It was able to paralyze the Heatran and knock it down to half its health. Uh, it was able to um, Toxic the Thunderous in basically getting rid of it. So Pachirizu, like, securing two kills this game. That's pretty much the power of it right here. 
Um, really curious to see what my opponent's going to want to do. I'm going to start the timer on him. I don't know why it wasn't on already. And I'm uh, actually going to pause it until he makes another move, guys. Be right back. All right. And he went into superior to take 45%. Um, he actually lives the next one. So I'm hesitant on what to do here. I really want to keep this just to be able to EQ the, um, the Metagross, put it in range of basically um, my own Metagross or in range of U-turn or superpower rather. That would be the, uh, the idea there. Uh, I'm going to go for... I'm relying a lot on on Torn to win me this game. That's why I'm kind of scared. I'm relying on Hurricanes again. I'm going to go for another edge, and of course we missed that one as well. Uh, he misses his Leaf Storm, which is cool. I'm going to go for another edge right here. Uh, so that's, uh, <clears throat> that's a miss for miss situation. And we will be able to hopefully hit this Stone Edge, knock him down pretty low. He actually chooses to double out into his Metagross, so that's awesome. I'm so glad that Superior's gone right now, guys. You have no idea. Uh, I'm just going to go into uh, Pachirizu on this thing. I'm going to sack it off. And his Pokemon are not going to enjoy... Oh, okay, he's Pursuit, and he's not Mega either. Do we live rocks? Hold on a second. Do we live rocks? Um, we're at 15%. Yes, we do. Okay, cool. I'm just going to go for a nuzzle right here because he actually might be slower than us because we're 226 speed. Just going to go for that right here. We are actually faster than his Metagross. We're able to paralyze it. He gets fully parried on that turn, which means we're also going to be able to get off a Super Fang. The power of Pachirizu. Never mind. We missed Super Fang as well. He goes for a nice punch. He's not able to knock us out. And I don't think Bullet Punch will either, honestly. Uh, we'll see, but it might. Uh, he lets me hit him, actually, with a Super Fang. He goes for another Ice Punch. That's cool. And uh, what do I do here? I think I think I just go into my own Metagross and click Hammer Arm, maybe? Uh, He's asking me why is my move so strong? Uh, it always does half of your health. Yep, anyway, um, so basically, because we paralyzed this thing, it's a little bit problematic because we can't burn it. That's the only issue right now. Uh, I'm going to go into Slowbro because I'll be able to essentially just throw off a Scald right here and uh, weaken this thing a little bit, does 21%. He goes for a Pursuit that's going to do absolutely nothing. I'm going to slack off the damage. He doesn't have anything better to hit me with, apparently. And uh, he gets fully parried on that turn. Basically, what I'm going to start doing here is Calm Minding, guys. He actually goes into Superior, so this is um, not the best situation for me, but not the worst either. Because I'm not sh sure if his Leaf Storm can take me out. I'm also not sure if our Psy Shot can take him out, but I'm pretty sure it can't, actually. So maybe my play is just to go directly into Torn. Uh, that might be it, yeah. His, uh, his Metagross is parried. It comes in at 13%. I really can't lose Tornadus, though. Um, the thing is, Slowbro doesn't wall the, the Heracross. It only walls the Metagross, so I'm just going to go for Psy Shock, honestly. He goes for Leaf Storm. He's not able to knock us out. He gets his plus two. That's fine. We're able to Psy Shock this thing, and we are actually able to knock it out. Wow. Okay, Slowbro's a lot stronger than I gave it credit for. Um, and now his Heracross comes in, and once again, uh, actually what I'm going to do is go... Uh, for a Psy Shock, of course, right here. His Pin Missile is going to easily be able to take us out. I'm going to go into Infernape, and I'm just going to throw off a Wisp. Should he switch, he switches. I just go for close combat after. That's fine. I need to land this Wisp. Can we stop missing moves, please? Why does this team have so many inaccurate moves? He switches into uh, Metagross. I'm just going to go for the CC right here, be able to knock this thing out. And uh, again, it comes down to can we land a Wisp and can we land a Hurricane? I'm Wisping this thing to give myself a chance to actually hit it with Stone Edge as well uh, and uh, Meteor Mash from uh, Metagross. Thunder Punch might also do the job. So I'm just going to go for a Wisp right here. We do land the Wisp. Awesome. So we are able to burn this thing. He goes for the Rock Blast. It should be able to knock us out with the lower defense. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, wow, Infernape, you are bulkier than I, th than I thought you were. Okay. All right, we're going to be able to slack off this damage. Uh, he's doing about, like, 2%. He's doing exactly leftovers plus 50%. So he can't knock us out with a Rock Blast barring a crit. Uh, and if he gets a crit, then I will just go into Landorus, Earthquake him, and that will be the end of the game. 
So this is, uh, this is looking like good game right here. I uh, really apologize for the long live with three battles, but uh, you know, this team is a little bit complex to play. Gotta run a couple of Galaxy. Decides to go for a pin missile. Uh, that's fine by me. I'm just gonna go for another slack off right here. And that is indeed gonna be GG, my opponent. Uh, he can crit every Rock Blast, but it doesn't really matter. That won't even take me out at this point, and my opponent just forfeits. So, uh, if you guys want to use this team, um, I will try to leave the link to the Smogon um, forums, the RMTs where I got this team from, because it's really, really cool. Uh, I'm only sitting at 1493 right now, which is not very high at all. I had a huge tilt uh, day where pretty much everything was missing, like even worse than today, so... Uh, that's it guys if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment Let me know what kind of teams you want to see me use during these ladder tour weeks uh, We've got another five weeks to go or six weeks. I think so uh, Definitely gonna be playing a lot of this gonna be trying to uh, make a name for myself in the community get a little bit better progressively uh, Keep playing keep getting better and uh, yeah, that's it guys. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys later. Ciao